This is Thengar Char. It's remote, it's sparse, and it's where the Bangladesh government would like to put Rohingya refugees. Our journey to get there began with a speedboat from Chittagong to Sandwip Island. We then crossed from the east to west coast by tuk-tuk and by foot to meet the fishing crew who had agreed to take us. The crossing in the northern tip of the Bay of Bengal can be dangerous. We travelled with three armed police officers and a Coast Guard escort due to the threat of pirates. Even by boat, the island is hard to access. We landed at a temporary jetty created by those assessing the viability of the relocation project. The government is looking at ways of making it habitable, such as planting more trees to shore up the land. It's hard to see how anybody could live here, let alone hundreds of thousands of refugees. It seems a sanctuary more fitting for birds than people, and in a few weeks' time, when monsoon season arrives, most of the island will be submerged. It is a solution to an unwanted burden in Bangladesh. They want to develop Cox's Bazaar into a major tourist resort, but the local authorities say Rohingya refugees are ruining its reputation. A few miles away are the makeshift camps, now home to hundreds of thousands who have fled their homes in Myanmar. They have been described as the world's most persecuted people. Everyone we met had a story of devastating cruelty, of a journey which was fraught with fear and danger. Tayaba Aftar broke down in tears as she described the violence she had suffered. Her eldest son was killed, her husband is missing, and she and the women in her village were raped. The Myanmar government denies such accounts and says reports of genocide are exaggerated. 67-year-old Rahul Amin was shot in the arm when trouble flared last October. There's now a daily influx into the camps in Bangladesh, and the Rohingya people have become a problem the government is desperate to solve. Despite warnings, it is completely unsuitable. A helipad indicates the idea of the island is being taken seriously. One regional official working on the plan showed a clear disdain for the refugees. The Rohingya people are stateless, penniless, and it seems becoming increasingly isolated. Debbie Edward, News at 10, Bangladesh.